video. Uh, we're playing Free For All on Instinct on AW on the PS4. Um, and this is probably the biggest team announcement that I've ever made uh, for the team. And probably the biggest announcement that ever will be made for the team. But if you cannot tell, and a couple of you, quite a few of you might be disappointed. To uh, We're going to use ASM1 and we will mute everybody. But uh, a lot of you guys might be disappointed to hear this. Um, but this decision had to be made, and it was made for the better. It's going to, you know, improve the team. Um, but, you know, I, I kind of looked at the circumstances and looked at everything that we had going. And Zane, the, the sniping side of Zane was dying, all right? I'm not going to lie, you guys. We were losing players because uh, people were moving on to bigger teams, you know? If you're a sniper, you want... All you care about is being in a higher subscribed clan. It's all about the subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, to me, it's not about the subscribers. And to every single competitive player who wants to become big in esports, they could give a shit less about subscribers. It's about how good your team can be, team charisma, how good your team is, and just the potential that your team has as, as, a, competitive, as a competitive team. And, you know, Darkness and Nate were probably our best snipers um, previously because they they were hitting clips a lot you know big hats off to you guys for really putting in effort and they were hitting clips a lot and they had that dual touch that came out which is just absolutely insane yes it was dislike botted by yours truly paul but um you know they really really were putting in effort and they left to join a bigger team and they're going to be joining gateway because there's going to be a lot of people from higher subscribed clans which Snipers always want to get in a higher subscribed clan, so I would understand. And, you know, it, after that point, I kind of looked at things in Zane's Xbox sniping side, and we're not completely dropping PS4 players. I will talk about PS4 players in a second, but um, the sniping side was definitely dying, and it's it was it was necessary to make this decision. And I have, I have many reasons which I find are completely logical, um, but, you know, it's... So, obviously, Zane is going to compete in the MLG Anaheim 2015 uh, land bracket this coming June, and we really need to focus on our esports side of things. You know, it was cool sni making sniping montages and stuff, but I think doing this is a lot more serious because when we need to get to Anaheim, we need to be the best that we can be to order and take, to try and take home a win. Um, hopefully, you know, if we're lucky, take home a win and just grow our team as an esports team and get known in the community and hopefully in the future continue going to MLG events and stuff like that. So the reason why we're dropping our snipers is because we really, really need to improve, you know, the leaders, Epsilon, Exodus, obviously every, though their people, they're going to stay as managers of the team, you know, they're going to help run the team. But you look at people like Zane Breach, who is working his ass off to build a really good United States, U.S., competitive team, and then you look at the co-leader, Epsilon, who is also leading EU to try and build the best EU esports team that he can, and it's it's definitely something that will help us be more prepared for Anaheim, and it's just the sniping side wasn't as, as good as it was when we created, or when I was given leadership of Zane, because when Zane decided to step up their game, and we, when I was made leader of the clan, how did he even fucking, whatever... We had a goal. We all wanted to, you know, this was back when it was me, Recoil, and Paul, and Zooms, and Zexo leading the clan. There's been so many co-leaders, you guys. But this was back when it was all of us, and we really wanted Zane to be known as a sniping team. We wanted them to be a team that was known in the community for sniping, for the content that they put it out for sniping, just montages in general. I mean, and then we decided to partake in CogZone and give competitive a try. Um... And, you know, we looked at this and we're like, yeah, maybe we can have a future in competitive. So we started to focus on our competitive team a lot, as well as focusing on our sniping team. And, you know, this is the exact reason why Optic dropped their sniping team. And look at them now. They are, let's put it this way. If you're in phase and you make montages and you're in Optic and you win fucking tournaments and, like, you know, 5K tournaments, 2K tournaments... You know, somebody in Optic makes a lot more money than someone in FaZe. And there's a reason for this. And I'm not in it for the money, you know. I'm not in it for the subscribers. If you're in Optic, you win tournaments and you get paid shit ton of money for it. And you're in FaZe, yeah, you make money from your streams and your montages. People in Optic make that money too. But they also make a lot of money and they get a lot of... 
re reputation for being an extremely good professional Call of Duty player. And, uh, you know, we're going to focus on our esports, obviously. We're going to focus as much as we can so that when Anaheim does roll around, we are ready. Uh, we are fully prepared and ready for Anaheim. Um, so, you know, obviously, we might be competing in COG Season 2. I'm not sure. If Breach has his team ready and Epsilon has his team ready, then we will probably be competing in that against other teams, such as our fellow allied team, Sacred. Um, but we're going to focus on esports. We're going to make competitive commentaries that will be going on this channel. We're not going to be a sniping team anymore, you guys, so I understand if you want to un unsubscribe now because of that, but, you know, it really means a lot that you support this decision. But we are not dropping the PS4 snipers. They're st staying because Exodus is putting in a lot of work to recruit a bunch of people. So if you're a PS4 player and you're a sniper in Zane, you're safe. Don't worry. Um, it's just that we're not going to be as much of a sniping-centered team because you know how Optic had their couple of snipers that stayed, like Optic Midnight stayed, Optic Predator stayed. Optic Jewel stayed, a lot of optics like Optic Diesel stayed, so those people will be considered, you know, just the people who will be staying on the PS4, who will be here, and if they hit enough clips, then maybe we'll put out a sniping montage every now and then, but that will probably be rare. And I understand if you want to leave the team now because we're dropping the sniping team, but uh, if you can stay, you're more than welcome to stay in Zane. But what Zane is going to be focusing on is their... Uh, is their competitive esports side? You know, we're gonna. I'm gonna talk to Epsilon and Breach, and I'm gonna tell them. You know, we're gonna try and make our competitive teams a lot better. We're gonna try and you know find the best players that we can and put them on our team. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go participating in game battles. We're gonna try and get as much pro points as we can for each player, so that when Anaheim rolls around, we will be ready to play. Um, and hopefully we will be prepped. We, we got a couple months, you guys, till June, obviously, and it's, it's January as of now. But, um, you know, I see this as an opportunity to really get, you know, everybody that is in Zane and everybody that will be staying. And if you're a sniper on Xbox, I'm really, really sorry if you don't favor this, but there's only quite a few snipers on it. There's only just a few, I'm sorry, snipers on Xbox that are still in Zane because most of them have left for bigger sniping teams, which I completely understand because you guys, as a sniper, you want to join a team for its subscribers, you know, it's just, oh, it's all about the subscribers for snipers. And I'm not ripping on snipers at all, I just think that subscribers don't really matter to me. It's about how strong your team can be. And yes, we appreciate subscribers, we always appreciate subscribers. But, you know, hopefully we'll get more noticed as a competitive team. You know, we want to be like EG, we want to be like Optic, we want to be like all those big competitive teams. So you will be seeing a lot of competitive gameplay on this channel, uh, temp, you know, commentaries, from Exodus, from myself, Breach maybe, from just all the all the people who will be working their ass off to build an amazing competitive team for Zane. And, you know, it's just really, I think, if you look at Zane a year from now, uh, after Anaheim, you know, obviously Anaheim is going to give us the most exposure that this team has ever had, you know, it will be the thing that really gets our name out there and so when we get there we want to do really well and obviously Anaheim is not is competitive you don't go there to fucking see who can hit the most trick shots trick shotting is just some trick shotting sniping montages all that sniping stuff is something that people do for fun but if you want to become like a god at Call of Duty you want to become a professional player you want to make a ton of money doing it I know it's hard to achieve and I don't want to make it I don't want to make it sound easier than it actually is but you want to become you know, if you want to become really good, you want to become a professional player, you obviously focus on competitive. And, uh, like I said, if you're a PS4 sniper for Zane, you can stay. And if our PS4 sniping team gets pretty strong and we get a lot of people who hit clips frequently, then we might, just might bring back the sniping team as, like, a PS4 only thing. But right now we are focusing on game battles and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to have a competitive PS4 and a competitive um, Xbox, obviously. We already have our competitive Xbox teams. We have Breach leading the US team and Epsilon leading the EU team, but you know, this is really what needs to be done, and it's very hard to become a really, really good sniping team, but it's also very hard to become a really, really good esports team, but I see more potential in competitive than I do in sniping on this team, so that's what we're going to do, and hopefully we'll get better and better competitive players with Epsilon and Breach leading the two teams, unless one of them decides to leave somewhere down the line. Um, but, you know, hopefully a year from now, Zane will have a pretty good name in competitive esports. Hopefully it'll be a little, you know, I'm not going to be on any competitive team. I'm going to be managing the team, uh, just like Exodus. And Epsilon, of course, who is going to be a co-leader. Um, 
but he's also going to be running the EU team. So, and I've said that quite a few times in this video. So expect uh, commentaries. We might post our game battles on here. We might post our COG zone battles on here if we decide to participate in that league, which we probably will because it looks like the teams, uh, the US team for Breach and the EU team for Epsilon is looking pretty set. Um, well, that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. I really hope you understand. I will update the roster as soon as I can. I'm sorry if you're disappointed to hear this. Um, PS4 snipers, you're welcome to stay. And uh, you know, this this is really what needs to be done. And we're gonna we're gonna build our pro points, build our game battles talent, and hopefully become a a really good esports team. So this is Blaze. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Leave a like um, and subscribe for more videos. This is Blaze, and I will see you guys later. Peace.